kids are impossible. My son, he thinks I'm God. I'm not God. I'm not God. He thinks I have the answer to every question. He walks up, Dad, Dad, why? <laughs> you hear that a lot. Why? <laughs> why do we have money? I'm like, we don't. <laughs> we don't have money. I'm like, oh, jeez, kid. That's why I moved us to Los Angeles. You can see it everywhere. Look at that. They say it's the terrible twos. It's not. It's the terrible threes, right? Because a three-year-old can talk back, right? Right? Two-year-olds talk back. You just don't know what they're saying. Psst, gaga. I don't know what he said, but okay. Three-year-olds talk back, but they're cocky that they can speak. A three-year-old can't say anything normal. You know, you say to a normal kid, you want to do that? They go, no, I don't want to. But a three-year-old, he's going to sell it. He's like, I don't want to! <laughs> go to bed, daddy! <laughs> I don't want to! <laughs> like, who are you, Jim Morrison of the Doors? And my daughter's like, it's time to go to bed, it's true. I know it's time for me to retire. Daddy, please don't make me go. I want to find my pacifier. Uh, I have a 19-year-old daughter. Um, we grew up together. Um, she raised the hell out of me. Um, she did a really good job. She was telling me today about some shit I didn't even know about. Um, but she looked me in my eye in my face in my house, and she was like, I hate you. I said, I'm so glad you said it first, because I hate you too. We have something in common. Life changes when you have kids, that's certainly true. Uh, I think there's nothing more frightening than the first night at home with a newborn as a new parent. That's scary shit, man. The first night when you come home. <laughs> and I think my son could tell that we were a little wound up because he had this look on his face like he was going, can I talk to a manager? Is there anybody? <laughs> what happened to the nurse lady that was around for the last few days? She Seem to know what she was. No, 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 you guys are wonderful. Is there a, a supervisor here that I could talk to? Hey, how long do you think it takes me to put my five-year-old's pajamas on every night of my life? Half hour, half hour, just to put his pajamas on. He's like, I don't want that! 15 minutes in, you tackle the kid, you shove him on, he's got two down one leg. He's like, I don't want that! Every night, a half hour, a half hour. Then I crawl in bed with my wife and try and take her pajamas off. For a half hour, a half hour, she's like, I don't wanna! A half hour every night. I love the people that don't have kids when you judge, because let me tell you something. You're, you can judge us all you want. One day you'll be a mom and you'll understand what I'm saying. This woman came up to me in Indiana and said, I would never call my daughter a bitch. I said, how old is your daughter? She said, three. I said, well, that's child abuse. You shouldn't be calling your daughter a bitch. But when that bitch turns 16, you're going to say, fuck you, bitch. Get the fuck out of my house. And you tell your father, I said to pick you up from the curb. I can't believe you. How dare you? You know what I'm talking about, right? That's a grown ass woman right there. You know the young moms, the ones parading up and down the airplane with the crying newborn baby. Like, and they want you to be impressed. They like show you the baby. And everybody's fucking mad because we, I'm like, bitch, we've seen a baby before. <laughs> if it was a dinosaur, we'd be impressed. It's a fucking baby. Shut it up and give it Benadryl like the rest of us. The fuck down, stupid bitch. It all changes when you have your second kid. You know, that first time you have a kid and you're in the delivery room and you're waiting to you see your baby for the first time, that's a magical moment. It's a very grand moment. That's like proof of a higher power moment. You know, you're like, holy shit, this is the fucking miracle of childbirth. This is my baby. We created this child out of our love. I will forever remember this moment in time. This is beautiful. The second time you see your baby for the first time, you go, oh, fuck. Because <laughs> you know what you're getting into the second time around. You know how bad it sucks. <laughs> you know? I mean, having a kid is great, but just that first three months just fucking blows donkey dick so badly. <laughs> it's just so bad. 
And you could tell, like, the enthusiasm for being a parent wanes with every kid. You know what I mean? The more kids you have, the less pictures you take. Have you ever noticed that? <laughs> First kid, 10,000 fucking pictures a day. It's like flip book animation. You can watch the kid grow up, right? Second kid, yeah, special occasions, birthdays, milestones, first steps. Third kid, you know what? I got my hands full. I'll remember this moment, all right? I'll just <laughs> mental snapshot. We're good, I'm moving on. I like to get out of the house whenever I can because my wife and I do have one of those fucking babies at home. Um, <laughs> and to make matters worse, there's another one on the way. Um, thank you for not clapping, you are my people. <laughs> Some people get very excited. Yay, the miracle of life, relax. <laughs> First of all, it's not a miracle. It's not a miracle. I hate to break it to you. We are abusing that word, miracle. I just, there's eight billion of us on the planet at this very second. That is not a miracle, that's a virus. <laughs> and back in the Bible days, a miracle meant something, you know? It was something, it was like, ah, guys, the ocean's gone, let's go. Nowadays, just, uh, miracle. Uh, miracle. Uh, look at me, I'm a god. Miracle. So I got like kids and shit, man. It's fucking cr I have two children now. I have, um, I don't know, I have another one happening, I guess. Something, my wife is like, oh, we have too much money. Uh, what the fuck is all this money? Let's have another kid. And um, do you know that uh, kids do like, there's different things they have to, I don't know what they're called, like rights of, okay, like, you know how kids crawl? Obviously, like, you go, oh, good, our kid's crawling. He's not like, Fucked up, you know what I mean? Like you want them to crawl. You know what I mean? Like they crawl and they walk, that's like important also. But do you know one of the ones at the beginning is turning over? Did you know that? Like when a baby flips over, that's like a big deal. See like no, but guys like don't, cause you shouldn't, it's fucking stupid. You don't need to. But my wife was like, Jamie, oh my God. She goes, come in here, you missed it. I was watching a basketball game. She goes, the baby, oh my God, it flipped over. The baby flipped over, you missed it. And I go, who gives a fuck? What do you mean? Who gives a? And she gave me this mean look, and I was like, no, 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 I mean, like, who gives a fuck? I do. Like a cheer, like, I give a fuck. Hooray! <laughs> who gives a fuck? And, uh... But she was worried. We had a neighbor whose baby, like, didn't flip over for a long time, and she came over, and she was like, oh, we're... Oh, our baby hasn't flipped over. Like, what do we do? And I, I didn't know her very well, but I was like, I, you know what, you're gonna be fine. Like, your baby's gonna be fine. And she was like, how do you know? You're not, like, a doctor or anything. And I was like, here's how I know. Uh, it's because we don't all, like as adults, have a friend at work like that can't fucking flip over. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like we all eventually get it. <laughs> Do you know, like you, know, you don't go to the beach and there's like one guy like, ah, can somebody turn me over? I never learned to do that. I, I had never learned to do that as a kid. If you're gonna, if you have kids, be a fucking parent, not a kid owner. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't just own the shit like it's an accessory. Raise it. It's a child. You made it. Now make it not rape things when it grows up. You know, like, like care for it. Because, I mean, there's a definitive difference between a kid owner and a parent, and you see it when this happens. When a kid starts cutting up in public, making, making a scene and shit, watch the discipline process. Because a kid owner will make a spectacle, a presentation of it. Because they care about all the strangers. They want your approval. They want you to think they're fair and diplomatic to their child. So it always looks something like, Nikolai, Nikolai. <laughs> Daddy's upset. Is that what you wanted, pal? He's upset. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Daddy's upset. I know, high five, high four, bam. He's a real goal getter. We worked that word out, goal getter. You're up. But tell everyone what we did earlier. We signed a treaty. That's right, I know, public schools. What's a treaty? It's a contract, I know. And you're in breach of that. That's the kind of shit a kid owner does. A parent doesn't care about your fucking approval. Cares about the kid, but also doesn't want you, the stranger, to call the cops on it. <laughs> so it'll pull the kid out of earshot. Like, Listen to me! If you do not shut the fuck up right now, as soon as we get home, I will break your goddamn neck in front of your toys. I'll do it in front of your fucking toys. I will line them up and make them watch your eyes go black. <laughs> shut the fuck up! Muppets, please. <laughs> Loves the Muppets. 
I have an older daughter too. She's like 21, 22. Yeah, I know we fuck early. Dude, she's hot. I hate that shit. I don't want to. I'm a dad. I don't want a hot daughter. I want a fucking ugly. Hello, daddy. You know what I'm saying? I want a creepy bitch. You know what I'm saying? Scare me, daddy. Well, fuck. You scared the shit out of me. I'm sorry, dad. I lost my bell. We'll get you another bell, creepy. Nobody's ever honest with you when, when you're about to have kids. Nobody wants to, to blow your mind and scare the hell out of you, you know what I mean? I remember when we first told everybody we were pregnant with our first kid, we were at a barbecue, and uh, I was standing with a group of guys, like five guys that all had kids, you know? And so I was like, guys, tell me, what's it like, man? What can I expect? you know, when, uh, when I have kids. And they went one by one down the line and it was like they were brainwashed. You know what I mean? That, uh, it's the greatest experience I've ever had in my life. Purest form of love you'll ever know. It opened up chambers of my heart, blah, blah, blah. And then there was one guy with a beer and like a thousand yard stare going, I don't know, man. I'm sorry, what was that? He goes, don't get me wrong, I love my kids, but <laughs> if I knew then what I know now. And the worst part was that was my dad, that was my father, standing right in front of you, you son of a bitch. <laughs> 